Last night I had a discussion with Christine Jardine, who is the Lib Dem MP for Edinburgh West. It was on Heart Song Radio. Uh, we talked about various issues. One of the issues I brought up was government childcare policy, because the Scottish Family Party feel that there's an injustice in this area. Now, if we think about uh, a family where one parent wants to devote themselves full time to the care of their young children, mm-hmm. okay, what policies do, do the Lib Dems have to support and enable a family to make that choice? We've got a lot of policies. That's oh, quite a surprise there. I was expecting it to be completely stumped. Let's hear what these policies are. We are the ones who brought in things like shared parental leave. We are the ones who have brought in childcare. Well, 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 no, hang on. Hang on, let me finish. So the answer is the first one, shared uh, parental leave. Now, that's a tweak to the maternity leave system that applies during the, the first year of life. That's not really relevant to what I'm talking about here. And the second thing she brings up is childcare, which is completely the opposite of what I'm talking about. Now, it's all very well to say we're not, we're not telling people they should do one thing or another. You're not actually telling them in words, but you're communicating by your policy that that's the end so in view. Think, that's where you want to encourage. So you think people should be encouraged not to go out to work? Not at all. Again, that's not what I'm saying at well, why, all. I, I'm saying we want to provide... Why are you telling me what I'm saying? <laughs> why are you telling me what I'm okay, saying you, you, when you, I'm you, saying that's you, not what I'm you, saying? You may, recall, you, know you may recall that I said just a couple of minutes ago, I didn't say you were saying that in words, but I'm saying the message of the policies is that the state is here to help you if you want someone else to look after your children. And there's massive, no. a massive amount of resources no. goes in to do that. No. Whereas the family who decides that a parent is going to look after the children, no. the state no, doesn't no, no. provide any no, resources no, 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 to help that. That is not true. The basis of the policy is about enabling people, enabling people to do what it is that they think is the right way to live their lives, enabling people to go out and work, enabling people to make choice, enabling mothers to stay at home if that is what they want to do. Okay, so how are they helped? Enable. How are they helped? If one parent st- wants to stay at home with the kids, how? Tell me a policy that you well, have. Well, how, how, how does them. one how does one do that other than by saying you can stay at home? Okay, so what policy can help? stay-at-home parents? Well, one of the answers is a transferable tax allowance. That amounts to treating the family as the economic unit instead of our individualistic, instead of family-based tax system that we have at the moment. Now, most European countries treat a family as an economic unit for taxation purposes, but they haven't had a succession of anti-family governments the way that the UK has, and Scotland indeed. Now, the tax allowance is currently £11,500, which means that an individual can earn £11,500 before they have to start paying any tax. So if you've got a couple where both uh, parents are working, then they can earn between them £23,000 before they have to pay any tax. If you've got a mum and a dad where dad works part-time for two days, mum works part-time for three days, and they look after the kid at home uh, for the time when they're not working, that family can earn £23,000 before paying any tax. If you've got a family where, for example, dad is going to work and mum is going to be at home all the time with the kids, they can only earn £11,500 before paying tax. How is that fair? Well, it just simply isn't fair, is it? Now, Christine Jardine was very keen to emphasise that the Lib Dems are about offering choice, as were the other parties, but they're not. We're about offering choice. We want to make it feasible for parents to choose either option. And the transferable tax allowance is an important step in that direction. Now, one argument I never hear made on this issue, I never hear people saying that the reason we want more parents working, twin incomes rather than stay-at-home parents, is because it's best for the kids. That doesn't seem to be a consideration. What you do hear is some people saying uh, that it's best for the economy. And you hear some people saying uh, that it's the only way women can properly achieve equality in society. You'll hear a lot of feminists taking that sort of line. Now, you you may think, no, there are not really people who think that. There are not really people in government who are thinking they don't like the idea of, for example, mum being at home with the kids while dad's out at work. Well, I'm just going to play you a clip. Now, to finish off, it's Cabinet Secretary Angela Constance of the SNP speaking this year in the Scottish Parliament. And she makes it quite clear what she thinks of a man who works while his wife is at home looking after the kids. 
She makes this comment at the start of the debate and not a single MSP challenges it through the next two, over two hours of debate. Watch this. And I am reminded somewhat of the quote uh, from Gloria Steinem, which says, no man can call himself liberal or radical or even a conservative advocate of fair play if his work depends in any way on the unpaid or underpaid labour of women at home 